I didn't even know that. Uh, uh, Brooker T got punched. Our Brooker T got kicked. Did you see it? He got kicked right in the face. Not from not our church show we did, but he lied. I hope yeah. not. It's like, what kind of church? Well, what's well, so funny to? is I remember he... I remember he had to leave early to go to another show when our guys just told me he got kicked right in the face and they showed me a picture and it looked very, we'll find a punchline out of it. He looked very Rodney King-ish after. That's all I'm saying. I mean, I know. And I, don't know if it's too, I don't know if it's too soon or after that, George. Well, I know. Has he forgive? But anyway, he, I just told him that our book, it didn't happen at our church show. Yeah, let's make Because well, that's his church. Like, <laughs> yeah. if somebody at his church kicked him in the face, I'd be a little more concerned. Well, it's funny as I remember he had to leave. And I'm thinking, I can't let you leave because these people here are to see you. And if we let you leave early, they leave. Oh, so, listen, you yeah, uh, can't, like, have Elvis leave the oh, yeah. early. <laughs> That's exactly right, brother. Elvis got to play Memphis. Yeah. But anyway, I guess he went and in a hurry and he got boom, got kicked right in the face. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Oh, here. All right, here we go. Yes, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. welcome to the edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle. Give the clap. You know what time it is. George, how was your weekend? Bullet, my week was unbelievable. My weekend was just as good. I just want to thank you. I want to thank everybody, Bullet, for just... Uh, this book's been here for just a little bit, but boy, it's doing good. I just appreciate everybody. I had a, uh, a young man buy the book at the fan fest we had in Charlotte a couple weeks ago, and he just took time for people to just take time and send Dad, you don't work your wrestle a little review, a little thank you. And the guy, uh, his first line in his little review, it kind of scared me at first. He said, uh, I'm mad. I thought, oh my gosh, that usually does happen. But he said, no, no, I'm mad because it ended. And I said, okay, sure. I was a little scared our bullet. So anyway, uh, oh, and I just uh, don't let me forget, Bullet, when we finished our TV show, I brought that DVD that I'm going to give to you. Remember the comedian I told you I ran into in West Virginia, and he just okay. said, here, I'm a comedian. Okay. And I think, man, it's time that, that's very wrestler -ish. I mean, trying to, and like I can book, get him hey, booked as a comedian. Kids but, are going back to school, shows are drying up. But, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm on a run right now of like almost 10 days straight of performing wow. comedy. So and I was just looking at my schedule right now. I'm like, oh, I don't really have a whole lot for September. I better oh. start booking this up. So, well, but I, I think I was impressed with the guy. But I'm gonna give you just to let you, not to uh, 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 critique his his comedy routine. But uh, anyway, it's in a nice case. Okay. That's all I'm saying. All right. But I'm gonna I'll be get, give that to you before we leave uh, George South Rouse School and all that night. Just something you can have if you don't want a bullet. Just use it as a tea coaster or whatever. Okay. But from one comedian here to another comedian to another comedian, may you know. Maybe we can steal some of his material. That's, 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 that's my you, whole point. Yeah, okay, we should really do that. That's not good. Okay. That's, that's not a good All thing, right. George. Uh, and, or if you're going to steal it, don't tell everybody. Okay? But uh, anyway, I just come, it just hit me in the head. i got to remember to do that before we leave here tonight. But anyway, had a great, great week, Bullet. Uh, one of my favorite shows, as we and you were just talking about a little bit earlier, is right here in Charlotte. Uh, close. Got to use a lot. matter of fact, use about every student that we had here at Rings uh, and HighSpots.com. And uh, even one of our newer guys got to referee. He said, I'd never referee. I said, uh, before, I said, perfect. You're better than most yeah, referees you're, you're, already. Exactly, exactly. And I said, uh, if we're going to compare you to anybody, I usually don't even use a ref. So uh, there's nobody to compare him to. But he did great, really. I threw him right out there in that hot sun, outdoors, we ate hot dogs. Uh, just opened up to the whole community, the whole area. Boy, it is just a great, great time. It gave our students a lot of t uh, uh, first time. Uh, it was kind of funny because you'll get a kick out of this. Uh, uh, our good friend Ricochet, who and, and Tessa came, they're on their way to Carowinds, but they stopped by to, to sign some autographs and meet with kids. So I had a big group picture made of all of us and more of my good friends. And so Dick Bourne, who does our gateway and does mm -hmm. my great website, actually uh, said, George, I know how you are with your nicknames. And he said, uh, uh, I saw that Ricochet and uh, I thought that it was like the real Ricochet. And I said, Dick, I said, you don't know who that is? That's the real. First time ever, it's the real. It's, the first time ever yeah. that his nickname is actually it's who his he name. Is. Yeah. <laughs> so first anyway, the Dick kind of got a little pop out of that, that it was the real Ricochet. So yeah. uh, you're exactly right. Uh, there's first for everything, Bullet. First time I've ever nicknamed has been right. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, just a great time, Bullet. Loved on some kids, gave away some book bags, uh, and used a lot of our students. And so it was a great, great day for that, Bullet. So. Uh, of course, finished up there. I uh, had a great day Sunday, boy. I got to spend uh, going to my, you know, sometimes I'm off the road. I get to go into my church, just sit back, bullet. Just, and it felt good. Got to see the grandbaby Sunday. But of course, this week, bullet, big double shot. Sunday and Cher will be together on one of them, I think, bullet, right? Uh, I don't know if you're going to do two of them this coming weekend, Saturday and Sunday, AML, the big two day oh, yes, yes. weekend. Of course, uh, they only got me on the one. So okay. I, I, 
Maybe, maybe they found well, out. We're bring you along slowly. Yeah, boy, yeah, okay? Maybe they found out I was a Peter Jackson. <laughs> like, I don't know. Either, we, we gotta, we gotta bring you along slowly. Yeah. Okay. I, I, like, uh, yeah, it sounds like you're gonna need. You got your hands full with your son, so oh, you, you might need your other son to come uh, come in and make. make that's make exactly combat, right. So. Yep. Uh, you're exactly right, Bullet. It's finally going to get to happen Saturday. Uh, well, it'll actually happen Sunday, but Saturday. Uh, we're going to be in High Point, first of all, yes. there at High Point. AML's coming in, a big, big, huge show. And, of course, Sunday afternoon, we'll be back up in Winston-Salem at Johnny and June's. And that will be where I finally get to uh, confront my son. Dustin and Dusty finally get to confront each other. Mm-hmm. And I finally get to hug my son. And I know he's been pumping. He's been working out. He's been, you know, very Sandman-ish with his little boy and all this. I mean, it, it's, oh, my gosh. Mm-hmm. But all I want to do is just hug my son bullet okay mm-hmm. so if they, people suspecting blood guts and gore uh, they better like uh, watch night of the uh, living day of walking dead or something but anyway with all that being said bullet, I'm, I'm just gonna hug my son and then people gonna be disappointed when that's about it okay but I'm gonna milk it I'll milk it for 20 minutes with my jacket on before I hug it okay bullet? <laughs> I just want you to know that uh, call a couple people stupid you know the big old lady gets mad at me when I don't insult her yeah you know everybody tells me to calm down so I don't insult her and she goes to the higher up and uh, fixing to sue me because I didn't insult her. Okay. But anyway, with all that being said, Bull, a lot of stuff going on here, Bull. Uh, congratulations to you. Just so busy this past uh, week, week, two weeks. With three weeks <laughs> yeah, I, like I said, a mill of 10 days in a row, but also, too, not only that, it's uh, uh, like I don't, I don't do stand up on Thursday, or Friday, or Saturday, but like those days I'm practicing for improv, yes. performing improv on Friday, and then of course I'll be wrestling. Now, and you know that's going to be comedy <laughs> anyway. But now so. a question that 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 chair would like to ask Sonny, because I because I want to know Bullet because I think about the way we should do it with Crockett working in so many close towns. Do you or can you do you use the same material? Now I know you said George, I got to, but you can because uh, uh, I'm sure some of the people travel bullet to come and watch y'all. Maybe I don't know, but that's a good question. Well, I I, you most certainly could. You can most certainly do the same stuff over and over again. I try and challenge myself because if I suck, so what? I'm supposed yeah. to. I'm, so, I'm, so, I'm supposed to suck yeah, right now. That's exactly. Like, and, and try, oh, I love trust that, me. I, last couple of days, like I'm. Yeah, sure. I've done it a lot. Doesn't mean I've done it very well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it. Like so. Yeah, I got a long way to go. And, well, so. see, I love that because I, I I just love the resemblance. The, the similarities between that breaking into that and breaking into professional wrestling, boy. Yeah, and there's yeah, a lot yeah, of similarities. I'm there's a lot of similarities. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit better than I did wrestling. <laughs> I mean, so many mistakes. But so see, it's stupid. like I tell our new students when they go out there to have the first or second match, bullet. That you're you're not supposed to be great right no, now. You know no, what I'm saying, exactly. bullet. And, and that's exactly. And I'm what comfortable you not said. being great. I've been not great for ten years <laughs> in wrestling. So I mean, what's another ten years? I'm not. I'm not jumping off the top rope and landing on my head. You know. All I know is Dustin Rose to this day, Gold Dust himself, and all of his gold glory uh, would work you any day of the week. Bullet. That's probably the greatest compliment that Cher has ever received. Even better than selling a hit album or a hit book is is Dustin still. Every time I talk to him. Yeah, bullet, I'm telling you right now, that, that, even though none of us got paid and we all got screwed yeah, that night, okay, but in a beautiful Coliseum, we didn't get paid or anything like that, uh, that was good. All I know, Bullet, and, and Jerry Lawler has told me many times, Bullet, if you were born back in the day, I'm telling you, you would have been in Memphis every Monday night with, with the Boy Scout. I'm yeah. just telling you. Bullet. I know it looked like I was born in that era, <laughs> but I mean, like. <laughs> That's right. But uh, a lot of stuff going on, Bullet. Congratulations to you and all that, Bullet, and. We just got a lot going on here, Bullet. I did uh, answer a lot of emails this week about the training school. We got a lot going on. I've had people uh, ask me, does age matter, does size? Do, you, and I, I don't know if it's more of an excuse for them not to come or they just prolonging it. Uh, you just got to take that first step. That's what I'm saying, Bullet. We could sell on the phone. That's what I try to tell everybody. We could, we, could, we could talk back and forth all day long, and, you, and it doesn't matter. I mean, it doesn't. You're not, you're not going to find that. That lightning bolt to, to make everything clear for you, and and we work around you know the size doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying, boy? That they they almost want to talk yourself out of it. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. You just got to come and try seriously, and and we don't you know I, I respect so many that try it and realize hey it wasn't for me, but we've always said bullet that there is a place if you love professional wrestling, there's a place. Yeah. Uh, I'm very excited about here. A lot of new stuff coming up to George South gimmick table bullet. I'm telling you right now, folks. Uh, you heard it here first on Dad, You Don't Work, You Wrestle Television. Uh, breaking news here, even before the kayfabe sheets get it, is the WWF pillars are back in stock. That's all I'm saying. 
and boy, I didn't think I could even, in all my selling, uh, crooked ability could get rid of all of them, but we did, but they're back. And you they're bigger. the WWE cushions? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and all I know, fans, is if you think, uh, who's our super kit kids that everybody loves? Young Bucks. Young Bucks. Oh, that's pretty tough, Stan Lane. Uh, uh, even, uh, and then, uh, break in progress. But anyway, yeah. uh, the Young Bucks, if you think Young Bucks is something, wait till you see the new Nexus tag team. That's all I'm saying, Bullet, okay? They are coming. We don't have them yet because we ain't found them. But but they will be coming to the ring with Nexus pillows and Nexus uh, flip foam cases. Both well, going to be the hottest thing to hit the gimmick tables. No since, Nexus since t-shirts. T no Nexus t-shirts. No Nexus t-shirts. They're, they're, they're the good right. We, 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 we are talking about Nexus uh, and, don't laugh folks, Nexus flip foam cases. They will be available soon. Uh, Bullet, I'm just telling you right there. It, it's huge. All new gimmick stuff all, all coming new, out, Bullet. All new merchandise coming uh, off the shelves. Uh, coming off the, the shelves. The George South the Wrestling uh, Mobile. My, wrestling Mobile. My motto is, I'll come to you. Seriously, Bullet, I've done it. You know that. Many times I've sold a book right in the Bojangles parking lot. So, just a lot of stuff we're going to be introducing to the fans as they come up to me, especially for the little kids. I love the little kids, Bullet. Uh, their their money's green, too. So, with all that being said, Bullet, got an idiot of the week. Real quick here. Sure okay. Do. A sure lot of stuff do. going on, boy. I, I, but I do want to give a quick plug here, boy, which everybody said it would never happen. We know in professional wrestling, never say never, okay? Dusty went to WWF. Rick Flair went to it. Never say never. Uh, I know we've all seen it, Bullet, and I think it's all been a big work all these years for the last 20 years. Is, is, is my favorite, Axl Rose and Slash are beginning to talk. Bullet, that's, that's all good. I'm saying. That's great. And, and so if them two can get along, Bullet, why is anybody mad at me? You see? But anyway, that could be big. Of course, tickets will probably be 200 bucks a piece, but I done told Charlie Dreamer. Uh, uh, to, to, we're sneaking look, in the back yeah, door. Yeah, we're sneaking in the back door. So, Bullet, <laughs> we, the, our, we could one more run, okay? Yeah. But it could be big, Bullet, because uh, people just wanting that nostalgia thing. And just see on stage one more time. Oh, oh, one more time. You got to. And, 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 and don't be like Van Halen. Get together and still be fighting. If you're going to make up, make up. That's all I'm saying. But that's that's not why they're going to any back. But uh, so much stuff going on in this world, Bullet, as you know, the whole world's gone nuts on us, Bullet. Sonny and Sherry about the only two that's got any uh, common sense, Bullet. But this will be a quick, so many things. Uh, two that's kind of teeter-tottering on who's going to go in the idiot bag is, uh, I just got to put Floyd Mo uh, Merriweather in there just because I just saw this. Okay, uh, good. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think Ronda Rousey would agree oh, with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. But Bullet, brother just went out today, and I, I guess it's a jealous thing on my behalf. Yeah, brother just went out today, I don't know if you saw it, he bought... Uh, a five million dollar car and paid cash for it. Five million dollars. One, uh, I swear it just looked like what my neighbor had, but he showed a picture of it. He's leaned back on it, boy. Uh, one, only one in the world. He paid five million. They had a receipt. He's bragging about it too, buddy. Right, rubbed it right in my face. Five million dollars for one car. That's all I'm saying. That's okay. That's his own business. He earned it. But anyway, just uh, uh, but did he, he earn it, George? No, he didn't. Did, did he? <laughs> that's a good you question. You say that? That's a good question. But here's what I'm saying, boy. Uh, that's a country. You understand what I'm saying? He just bought a country with four wheels, bullet. But seriously, and and, and I, I don't know. I don't even know why that aggravated me, but it did. Five million cash for just one car, not a house, not a meal, not nothing. Just just a car. So a lot of jealousy that, and it wasn't a Batmobile. That's what really upset me. Okay, I can make you see that, bullet. Maybe two million for about But anyway, he's got the keys for it, paid cash. Uh, anyway, so uh, he's teetering to go in there. And then, I, I, if that wasn't bad news enough to break my heart, uh, then I saw where, you know how I am, I'm a big fan of The Walking Dead. I hadn't saw it a couple of years, but I'm still behind. Mm -hmm. uh, my little kid that gets in trouble is probably huge now, making his own show. But anyway, found out today uh, that the zombies are in trouble. They are, it's, it's already, I documented it. Uh, they're gonna be making the Backstreet Boys and all that other group that kind of feuds with them. In sync. Uh, in sync. Are going to combine. Maybe not in sync, but. Uh, remember, there's one that's just. They're not over as much Which as. Which is on the block. Backstreet Boys. Yeah, there's the Backstreet Boys, and. and uh, oh, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. I can't tell them apart. But anyway, they're combining to make a movie where they fight zombies. That's a true story. Bullet has the world finally come to that, okay? And I, it may be a hit. I don't know, Bullet, but. Are we anyway, on sci fi? No. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very true. So, just because it's a slow week for idiots, uh, not really a slow week, but I want to put uh, uh, Merriwell in there, five million dollar car, and then I, I'm kind of upset with the zombies because zo zombies have got soft. Seriously, zombies used to like uh, scare you, and and I don't know what it is. Maybe it's all the coverage, 
Maybe the zombies are comfortable with all the money they've been making from Walking Dead. I don't know, but zombies are not scary anymore. Oh, they, they, tried, okay? to do, they tried to do that, that love story that had a zombie in it. Oh, and, and that killed it. And they're okay? doing all kinds of stuff. So, so, so. Yeah, but don't worry. When George, when George A. Romero puts out a zombie. Oh, movie, exactly. He, he does it right. That's exactly and, right. You know, I, I he, totally he agree. Be, and then the people that are walking dead, actually, Greg Nicotero, he was in uh, Land of the Dead, if I'm not mistaken. No, Dawn of the Dead. Day of the Dead. I don't know. The one where they're in one the army. Dead. The one in the army base. <laughs> the one I just saw on Netflix a couple but, days ago. But you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, it used to be you say zombie, you, oh, 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 scary. You see what I'm saying? Now, you, I don't know. I don't want it to turn into like wrestling or You're, even our heels we laugh at now. I want our heels to well, like eat people. Well, Walking Dead's got it know, right, you know. George A. Romero's got it right. So, yes. And so, if you're going to see any zombies, see from those. That's things. exactly right. So, uh, I don't know if we are ready for the Backstreet Boys versus the zombies. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. So, uh, with all that, Bullet, a lot of stuff going on here, Bullet. Uh, congratulations. You got a little gig tonight here. Yes. Comedy, comedy Zone, right? Yes, sir. Uh, epic uh, Storytellers. I got a very, very big story. I have a very unique story. And hopefully, it's epic. Uh, is this the be- is this the one we titled maybe the best story? This, or no? This, yeah, is, this for, is it. This is for sure the best story. This is my Tom Hanks, Meg Ryan story. Oh, oh, is, oh, uh, oh. A, is it about the movie where they connected? Remember? Remember? What's that movie? Remember? Sleep in Seattle? Yes. Yeah. Or through the, the, the e- uh, not the email. They didn't have email in that movie. What uh, was it, boy? Yeah, you've got mail. Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh you've got mail. Oh, very kind of a, a fairish there in the little bit. <laughs> but anyway, Meg Ryan's still Easy, they don't spoil my story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, folks, no. Don't listen to me. Come out and see uh, the greatest co-host in the world, Bullet. So with all that being said, what you will get an email back if you email me about it. We will return the email, uh, and not from Meg Ryan, but from uh, Cher, will be about... The second greatest book yes, of all time, good. Good which boy. is available at highspots.com. <laughs> if you want to fo- make sure follow more about what we're going to be doing this week, especially at AML Wrestling, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Manscout Manning and on Instagram at Manscout Manning. This has been another edition of Dad, You Don't Work, You yeah. Wrestle. Good job. Good show, Bullet. AML, here we come, Bullet. Yes. Very good. So I will see you Saturday yes. night, right? For Very good. Sure. Now, are you doing the um, the three day? Oh, well, let's keep that. Oh, yeah.